welcome to World Within, a program that will update everything you need to know about health from top to toes and from the inside through the outside. As we know that sunbathing is very famous among Western people, but for us as Asians, we try to stay underneath the shade as much as possible. And for this one today, I would like to introduce you another type of therapy called sunbathing. For ladies, don't run away yet because this type of therapy will help you to shed your fatigue away. Sunbathing or solar bathing is another kind of natural therapy that was practiced in India since the ancient time. This method is known to help stimulate blood circulation system and is suitable for chronic diseases. Uh, this is another ancient kind of alternate medicine. Uh, it is, uh, has been, can be traced back into the knowledge of the Ayurvedic in India. Mm. The principle is that um, the, the sunlight, sunlight has seven the uh, sun Rays. spectrum. Yes. Uh, the extreme one is ultraviolet, which is uh, harmful for the skin. The other end one is uh, the infrared. Infrared is very hot and burn your skin. But the middle one is the green light. The green light is uh, vitalizing. So how can we just only get the green light for ourselves? That is to you just lie in the sun and cover yourself with some kind of leaf. Then the leaf can just screen out every other spectrum. Just only let the green light to attach the body. In order to do sun bathing method, patients will have to cover their body with any kind of leaves. However, Balawi uses banana leaves because it's easy to find. Once covered the body with the leaves, Patients have to lay down 15 minutes each on their front and back. By doing this, they will get a cool and warm feeling released by the chlorophyll from the leaves and the green light from the sun, which is considered as a cool light. Kind of leaf we can we can use any any one any kind, but the most most uh, comfortable or uh, easily one to find is a banana leaf. So we use banana leaf for solar bathing. What about um? Do you have a specific time to do a solar bath thing? Like in the morning or before mm. sunset or mm -hmm. after sunrise? Mm. Obviously at noon is uh, too... Any time that we have sunlight. Any time? Any time. Uh, usually for Thai people, we like to do it at around 9 or 10 a.m. in the morning or like uh, late afternoon, 3 or 4 o'clock. But for, for Westerner, they like sun. So oh, yes. they, they would like to do it at noon. Oh, it's alright. But wouldn't it, um, wouldn't it harm the skin? Cause any skin cancer? No, because of the the method to do is to at first you rub on the body with uh, some oil. This oil should be put in the sun under the clean glasses for at least seven days to mm. get the sun spectrum, the green light into the into the oil and wrap it on the body. Then you lie down and cover yourself with the banana leaf. So under the, under the banana leaf, you feel just only warm, warmness. And it can uh, activate your skin to um, uh, what's it called to perspirate and uh, let your skin pore to, be, to, to clean up. Mm. Mm. And the other thing is to the warmness of um, this method will activate your body immunity. Apart from this, the practice also helps to stimulate the white blood cells to help fight against cancer cells and other oxidants. See ladies, sun bathing actually has a lot of benefits on us. But for today, we're running out of time. For next week, we're going to have a look at another type of natural remedy that has been practiced for over 1,000 years in Europe. Till then, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.